everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you this card, which I'm going to call a disc fold card. It sounded a bit better than circle fold, and I, I couldn't really find some, another word really to use. So um, I've used my circle cutting system to come up with this one, and I'm really pleased. So it is six by six in size, and it sits there inside the envelope. But when you open it up, these pieces are like this. So it stands like so, and you have that view and it looks really cool. You can also have it further out, so it can be like that, so people can see this. You could decorate these side pieces here. Um, I've used a decoupage um, little topper here, which I've made, and I'll go through all of that with you. Um, and then on the inside here, so that's how it would be, and then you open up the little kind of gatefold, and you've got your happy birthday. Loads of room there to write your sentiment and message and so on. And you've got more panels here to put more stuff on if you want. So it's quite nice. You could put more memories on their photos if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. So I was just playing around, seeing what I could come up with. And this is what's evolved. So like I said, it stands up nicely and it fits in an envelope. Mine is bulky, I guess, because I've got that decoupage on and I've stuck down this plastic little um, bow there as well but I guess if you do go a bit flatter then you could post this in you know the post box without it getting damaged I would probably end up putting that in a little um, protective kind of um, bubble bag as well but yeah really really nice this one so take that one back out again okay this is what I'm going to be using today so the papers and the decoupage is the Dovecraft Sweet Moments, which I've used a few times. I've used it in my scrapbook layout as well. And these are the papers. It's an 8x8 pack. They're really, um, they're very girly. And um, yeah, there's, it's just very pink. Although this isn't there, there's, some, there's a bit different as well. But you can see what I mean. It's just really, really very subtle colours and just really fun. I, I do like this one. And then that's the decoupage with all the different um, layouts there. And they make great um, toppers. So that's the one I've used, or I'm going to be using today, which I'll show you. And the macaron one, or macaroons, is that one there, and that's the last one now, because I made gift tags with the other ones. So again, all the links will be shared on my blog. Okay, so I've got the larger hoop from the three rings that you get with the um, X cut cutting system which I use a lot in my tutorials again I'll share the loop the loops I'll share the links but I know now that it's going I think it's, it's starting to appear in the sale in places so I wonder whether X cut has stopped making it now um, but again I will look into that and I'm also going to be using the other X cut and this is the cutting circle but a compass will be fine and dinner plates and all that kind of stuff will work as well so I'll talk you through all that so don't worry if you don't have these pieces that's the cutting blade for that circle there. Okay, so let me just move these bits for a minute. Okay, so with the main card base, you've got a, you want a piece of 11 by six and a half. Along the 11 inch side, you're gonna score at two and three quarters and eight and a quarter. Okay, then actually keep your scoreboard out for the minute. And this is just really a guide to keep you in the area that you need to be which should make sense in a minute but all you want to do is pop a ruler at six inches I'm lining it up with the six inch kind of track there at the bottom so I know it's nice and straight plus with the Tim Holtz ruler you just need to make sure your lines there are straight and then actually I'm not going to score just going to with a pencil just do a pencil mark if you don't have a scoreboard like that just from the bottom up just mark six inches at both ends and just join it up so we'll be cutting along a lot of this line in a minute okay so get rid of your scoreboard and then what you're going to do is with this one here which is a six inch diameter that's the circle size that it will cut so you just want to get a plate or a compass if you're using a compass you want to set it to three inches okay so just get your point and your pencil mark it at three find the center point of your this square for example and then you will just swoop around and then you'll be cutting partially cutting some of that for those of you with this or if you've got a dinner plate you'll do the same you want to pod, pop it in the middle of this square where the pencil line is in fact if I just burnish those score lines because that will help you see better in the tutorial 
So you want to make sure that you get your plate that's as close to six inches and your compass, everything, it needs to be within this part, so below the pencil line. So it's a six by five and a half inch square here. I'm going to get my circle, bring it in. It's going to slightly pop over the top there and you want it to just come up slightly from the bottom. You don't want it to, you do want to cut a little slither away just so that the the circle doesn't really touch the bottom of your card, of your um, table. <laughs> can't even speak properly. Anyway, now the sides of your six inch circle will go over the score line and that is what you want. You just need to make sure that it's even. So I've got an even side, probably go a little bit more that side and even that side. So it's going to go over those sides, you want it to just come up from the bottom here and it will probably just tip over, which it is, the pencil mark there. Now if you're drawing around anything, this is when you just go around it with your pencil, but if you've got the cutting system like me, then what you're going to do is you're going to cut, so from you're going to cut inside this squared area. You're not going to do any cutting on your three, uh, your two and three quarter um, kind of little panels here, these side bits do not go into this section. So let me just cut here to make sense of it. So I'm just going to cut, make sure you've got a cutting mat underneath. So I'm just cutting from the left to the right, as close to the score line as I can get because the rest of it we're going to cut. And then again at the bottom, like so. So now if I just bring this up you can see it's just gone over the pencil which is fine. Let's come down to the bottom there and you can see I've got quite close to the score line but just not that close and that's fine because now what we're going to be doing is some cutting. So grab your scissors and we'll do the bottom here where it's already kind of come apart. If yours is still attached it's fine just cut it but you basically just want to come up and just continue round to that score line. Again, do not cut past it. You want to just stay. And then very neatly, because this is all going to be exposed, just cut up there, like so. And do the same, so again. Now don't worry if you're a little bit kind of crooked with your cutting here, because we're going to be then cutting another exact same size in the same green card in my case and we're going to stick it over the top so don't worry if this is a little obviously these side bits need to be good but don't worry if this circle may be a little bit rough because we are going to cover it all but then if you're cutting that circle as well then you really need to be uh, nice and neat so again just going to trim this is the fiddliest bit it's not hard it's just a little bit fiddly and again just come around there and then I'm just going to come down. I'm removing the score lines again just to make that all nice. So that's what everyone's going to see. And again, cut that one out. And then you just want to cut along these pencil marks. So I thought it was best to cut it to six and a half than six and a quarter or something, just in case you do go higher than you've got to the room. So now when you fold your card you can now burnish your sides. That's what you will have. So this is your five and a half by six and there's your gatefold back. Okay so now what you want to do is with your compass still at three set at three inches is do cut another circle with the same card or whatever you're deciding to use. If you're using this cut another whole circle so you'll have one like this. So I've already popped my adhesive on it. Open it up, okay, and make sure that your adhesive doesn't go, because you want to remember these bits, are, it's going to stay overhanging, so you don't want any glue sticking out the other side there. So where I've popped my tape, I've got no adhesive right up against the sides here, so it won't overhang, all right? So I'm going to pop it down flat, make sure that's all lined up, and then just and you want to make sure that you get it perfectly over the top. Okay, and then again, just stand it up, make sure it's all there. And now we've got that really fun disc fold card.
think it's great. Now it's all down to decoration. It is an easy card. I guess that's just the, the fiddly bit as such. So I've got all of these panels here. Now the white mats are, let me grab my ruler. So the white mats are two and a half by five and three quarters. You'll need four of them. And then you'll need four of the layer that's on top, which is five and a half by two and a quarter. Okay, now what I'm going to do, because I've gone and cut this disc, now this disc here measures, um, if I do it along that straight green line there, because it's kind of running through the middle, five and a half. So set your ruler to two and three quarters, and you will then have a five and a half inch disc, or a plate, it, anything really, because when I stick this on, so basically this is going to go on here, I just wanted that nice green border. Okay, see that ring I've got around there. Now when this closes, when the people see it, I wanted to have this same pattern. So when I flip it over, this one is going to go inside here so that when I close the card, you see there, and then that, like so, it all matches just on this top bit here. But it doesn't matter if you don't have the same because if I just pop something else in there, as long as it's maybe from the same paper pack, but look, even that, it does all work. Okay, so you need four of each of those sizes and then you want to go and get them all stuck down. So I'll do the ring, that other piece in a minute. Let's do these, stick to this. So these two are going here. And this is why also you don't want to stick this piece down here because that these will go underneath. They need to be able to sit underneath like so. So make sure you do not glue over these two um, edges. It needs to be able to have that effect that's the whole point of the card okay so I'm going to stick down these two on here and those two on the back okay so that's that all stuck down so you can see now it looks really nice closed on that back with the gatefold and then you can see it's starting to come through now on that bit and then it all sits nicely this also reinforces it so if you imagine I've got my strong card stock anyway then I've got two white mats on each side of that one piece and then two layers of cardstock as well. So that's a really strong um, little kind of, you know, the panels there. So it will really hold your card up nicely. Okay, so going back to this one here, which I said was five and a half. So you need to set your compass at two and three quarters to get that same size as me. And then I'm going to have it, try and have it so that it looks like it's kind of continued on from the back piece there. But it's going to go in like so. So you can see now it all comes together. But I want to have the same one for inside as well. So I'm going to do that one with you. You can see here. Because this one you have to cut the sides there straight. See? So that, again, it doesn't... So on the back you want it to cut. You want to cut it so it doesn't interfere with the score line. Whereas on the front you don't. You want it to overhang. So I'm choosing this one here. And I already have this um, set as if it was a compass. So this will be from this middle here, it'll be two and three quarters. Okay, but you will have your compass and you'll just go around and obviously do that. So I'm going to bring this one in here. I like to try and make sure I get, I don't waste too much of my paper. That's okay. And then you just move it around. And the reason I brought this one, as I mentioned when I used it in other tutorials, obviously give yourself room, I'll put all that in the way there, is because the cutting system is brilliant, and I still use it as you can see, but it only gives you those two sizes, then two on the other circle and two on the other, so you've only got six sizes, whereas this, I can move this dial to as many sizes as I like, so that's why I liked it. So there you go, now I've got that. So this one's going to go on the front like so, flip it over. And then continuing on, this one, get rid of that one actually, is going to go inside like so. Now it literally just overhangs a little bit, so I think I did end up doing these slightly smaller than that one to kind of eliminate it. But what I would say, all you need to do, do you know what, it's literally just on the score line. So maybe just go in a little bit further. Problem is you don't want a huge, it looked a bit odd, I didn't want a huge great big border of green. So all I'm going to do my pencil and ruler make sure you've got a nice border with it and then I'm just gonna line it up with the score line come out a little bit in fact I'm gonna come out I'm gonna come out this far here so I'm actually cutting the side of my circle about just over one eighth of an inch so I'm just thinking just to kind of give that even green amount 
you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm mumbling to myself right now, but I'm thinking whilst filming. I won't cut this bit out because I think it's good for you to see. There we go. So if I just bring that up, you see the pencil mark that I've done there. So I've come in about a quarter, quarter of an inch, yeah, just over, just under. But what I want to do, so if I cut this now, like so, I'll do that one as well. Obviously, if you're not using a directional paper like myself, it'll probably be a bit easier. I've had to make sure that all lines up. But now when I put that back in, I've just tried to make it look like I've got that even green showing down here as well. Okay, so play around. You can see you saw what I did there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but it just it's doing those little things. It, again, it just I always keep saying this word finish, but it will finish your card and make it look that more professional. That they see that you've you know you've taken the time to do that. So yeah, so I would say whatever you've got your gap being here, you just want to try and continue that around even though it's a straight flat kind of side. So I'm going to get both of these now stuck down. Okay, so that's all stuck down. I ended up going um, uh, vertical with these ones instead of horizontal. I just thought they looked good going opposite to the ones at the back there. So that's the front. Again, it's really strong now. It stands up really nicely and then the back with the gatefold opens up to refit all that really nice inside so it's now just up to you with your decoration so you want to do another circle drop down again and do another white circle and stamp happy birthday which I'm going to do in a minute so I would suggest again you can if you're using the cutting system just bring in the other two sizes I would just use the next size down the medium and just go around the outside of that one although maybe I wouldn't on this just because I think then I'm going to lose loads of that print but then it depends how big you want your area to write your message and stamp and so on so it's entirely up to you but if you do use this one I probably will actually this is the four and a half one and again if you're going to have your compass set I would say what's that one there then we're looking at two inches so you'd have a four inch diameter diameter circle that's about yeah well, that was four and a half wasn't it so again two and a quarter or two you see what I can do so it's, it's very easy to just kind of do then all the, the extras yourself I have got my decoupage piece here which I love I just think that's so cute look at all that and I've just layered it all up if you're not um, familiar with decoupage decoupage just means layers um, so you've got decoupage with using tissue paper and you layer up all the tissue paper or newspaper and you cover all kinds of things. That's one form of decoupage, the other form is this and you just layer up all these beautiful images. So that is going to go right in the middle and then I have got all these little bits that also come in that um, little decoupage pack. They're all kind of bits from other ones, you always get extras but I want to put something like yum come, maybe coming down there and I want to have so sweet maybe up here something like that so I just want to recreate this kind of scene and I'm going to bring in maybe the same colour as well and I'm going to get that hot glued down so there you have it guys two really nice disc fold cards I'm super super pleased with how these have turned out I'm not I'm going to leave that as it is because they are still drying but again if I just bring that up there and I like that you can have it open more like that I think that's a really really good look as well like so I think it looks I think it looks awesome and I've already got more ideas how to evolve this into another style as well. So yeah, my mind is buzzing right now. So I hope I've inspired you. I hope you give it a go. Remember to share it on my Facebook page. I love seeing all the comments and the messages that you send me and I do reply to them all. So until next time, if you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.